So we're doing the tongue and groove insulation on this project. Um, you've got the red buttons, which is the clips or wagon wheels as we call it sometimes, to hold the insulation in place. Also, make sure the drip is facing down. That allows any moisture, any water coming into the cavity, it'll drip down. Well, that's what they told us. How the tongue and groove insulation works, always make sure the tongue is facing upwards when you install it because no water is not going to go across and go over the tongue and get into your cavity or into your internal walls basically. If you have the groove facing upwards, what's going to happen? The water's going to come here, it's going to settle in here and you don't want that in your cavity. So always make sure the tongue is facing upwards and the groove falls on top of it. So always make sure the groove, the tongue is in the bottom and groove on top. Tongue in the bottom, groove on top. And that's how we do the tongue and groove insulation. See how that slides in. Yeah, boy. 